This video is going to show you how to upgrade uh, the alignment feature definition of your file in Open Rogues Designer. Uh, this file that we're looking at here came from SS10. It was converted up, uh, but the feature definition of the alignment has to be also upgraded manually. Easiest way to tell if you have an SS10 alignment feature definition is if you change the scale, the text remains the same size. Okay? So another way you could tell is if you click on the alignment, you go into Properties. It says MoDOT Baseline Proposed, but if you actually click on the down arrow, this feature definition will be uh, stored in a, in a location called Alignments, Plan, and it's under Drafting Standards, and that is not the same location as in ORD. So to change uh, this feature definition uh, to an Open Road Designer feature definition, what you need to do is we need to get rid of all this static text out here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this uh, feature definition to something like, say, Geometry Scratch. So I'm going to go out there. I'm going to go to uh, Design, Desi uh, Geometry, and Geometry Scratch. Now what I can do is I can go uh, and open up my uh, level display. And I'm going to switch my filter and my level display to um, used. And in there, what I can do is I can turn off Geometry Scratch. And the only thing that's left in this file is the text that goes along with the old SS10 alignment feature definition. So I can just select all that information and delete it. I can bring back my Geometry Scratch alignment. And then now I can apply the new feature definition, the new ORD feature definition. By going to Properties, selecting, uh, switching it from Geometry Scratch, and the new alignment feature definition for ORD alignments is under uh, the very top folder called Alignment, and then MoDOT, uh, whatever it, you want to do, Baseline Existing, Proposed, or Temp. We're going to do Baseline Proposed. And when you do that, if it does not turn gold, that means your feature definitions in this SS10 DGN file have not been uh, upgraded or um, updated. And so to update the feature definitions in this file, you just have to go to your Explorer, and then uh, find the, this area or the location where it says Open Road Standards, drill down until you get to the active file, and then right click on the active file and do an update standards from DGN Lib. When you do that, that and it, uh, that line style should turn gold, which is the new uh, color, or the, the color of the MoDOT baseline proposed in ORD. Now, we didn't get the stationing tick marks. To get those stationing tick marks, you have to go and actually add that annotation. To do that, you go to Drawing Production, Element Annotation, and you go out, select the element, and Reset, which is all right-click to complete. And once you're done with that, you should get the new annotation out there. Now, one thing uh, that we have kind of added to this is if it's a corded curve, it'll say the word cord out there. If it's an arc curve, it'll say arc. Okay. Now, there is one bug uh, that's currently in, uh, out there, and we've reported this to Bentley, and they're going to change it. Right now, this distance, this length uh, for the corded length is actually the arc distance. So to fix that, I'm going to go ahead and put that over on this side of the screen. I'm going to actually open up the uh, horizontal geometry report. And I'm going to find that distance in the report. And it's right here. It's 489.72. So I'm going to change this distance to 489.72. I'm going to double click on that. I didn't want to double click on that, but you can go in there and you can now change uh, that value. Again, I want 489.72 for the corded length. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in 489.72. And then once you have that typed in there, you can just left click out in the area here and that will update that. And the good thing is, once you type that in one time, it'll stick even if you change the scale. So I change that to 200. That the uh, value that you typed in will stick. The only time that goes away is if you would remove the annotation from this 
and then reapply the annotation.